Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, November 24th, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Uh, and you're welcome to like our videos and uh, hit the bell button in order to, do, to uh, see our newest videos. If you want to uh, get our signal service, you're welcome to head over at Patreon. The link is down below and you also get access to our full technical analysis, which is all the commodities um, commodities that are available on Etero. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we broke down quite significantly here at the US dollar index all the way down to 91.96. And at that point, at that point, we found major support. We rallied again all the way up to 92.7. And of course, this had major effects on the commodities markets and also the precious metals market. Uh, it has been a really difficult week to trade, all since way back to last Monday and also today. And that is mainly due to the uh, major annunciation of, of vaccines that are available now. So I think there are three that are available now, and this is just going to be the start because now we're going to have the FDA uh, approval and basically approval of all of these vaccines, and that is going to just continue making a lot of noise in the market. Uh, but this is a very, um, very interesting sign because if this turns around and heads towards the 50 moving average and also breaks the 50 moving average, then we will see... Uh, a fall in the oil market. We'll also see the fall in the in the, um, in the gold and also most indices and so on. So this is to be um, to be uh, checked because this will have a major effect on commodities. So we look at oil. We can see that we continue our rally, but we are. It is showing signs of weakness. So we have this major resistant area that is 43.82. And at this point, I don't know if we get there because we got to the very highest here of 33.23 and then broke down again. If we get up here, I think there's going to be a lot of selling into the um, selling of the uh, WT oil because nothing has really changed in the world economy. Um, but however, if this breaks, then we'll of course go to 35. Um, that is almost guaranteed and probably also all the way to 50. But I think this market will be very overstretched at that point. I think that what is going to happen here is that we rally all the way to 30. Um, to this resistant area and then we pull back towards the uh, 50 uh, moving average so i'm think that we're gonna see a range here between uh, 40 and then 33 34 uh, or there above so this is going to be a very small range within this area here and until we break uh, above here we're not going higher and there's a lot of support underneath this area here. Technical indicators for oil are looking fairly bullish, so we may go and test these all-time highs. That is very possible. So let's look at copper. And as I said uh, yesterday's uh, for Monday's video, this is a probable sell because we have hit uh, this very high zero three point two nine. And at this point, these technical indicators are turning around, especially the CCI and the RSI are turning around. And what most likely will happen here is that we'll gradually go all the way back towards the 50 moving average. Uh, that is what I expect to happen here. So we rallied here all the way up to 2.2, broke down towards the 50, then rallied again all the way up to 2.3.3, and then fell back and then will fall back towards the 50. That's most likely what is going to happen in this uh, commodity. So let's look at gold. And as you can see, we have broken down as we expected. Gold has been trading like this for months now, all the way back to August. 
we saw the all time highs here at 2.0373, broke all the way down to 1860, rallied again, traded sideways, broke down, traded sideways, rallied, broke down, traded sideways, and then broke down again. At this point, I think it is almost certainty that we'll go all the way down to 1800. And there is going to be a lot of buying at this area here. So this is certainly a trade that I'm going to, to make. This is a trade that I've been waiting for for technically months at, at this point. Not months, but several weeks at this point. All the way, uh, when we broke down here, I've been waiting for a breakdown all the way towards the 1800 level. And I think within the next few days, probably weeks, uh, we'll see this break towards the 1800. And then you can basically buy as much of it as you can uh, for the long run. It will most likely go and test the 50 then. That will break. It will break this area as well. And then we'll head towards 2000. So technical needles for this are looking fairly bearish at this point. And uh, uh, we need to go all the way down to 1800 in order to go significantly higher. So we'll look at Kakoa. And this market is, starts, is starting to look similar to Bitcoin. There is no end in sight for this massive rally to the upside. There is the, probably the main reason for this is uh, that you had production cuts and you also have the holiday season you know, coming up now. And and yes, there is a lot of demand for 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 this product. However, I would be paying attention to the star, the CCI at this point because it is showing signs of weakness. And uh, you can see what happens when it shows signs of weakness here as well and here, that it can drop significantly to the downside. So most likely what would happen here is that it will fall <clears throat> towards this area first at uh, 2.6, and then all the way down to 2. Point, uh, around 5, around 6 here, around this area here. So this is the first Fibonacci retracement that will hit, and then the 50 is around here at 2.5. That is going to be, well, several weeks before we get to those levels. But it is eventual. This just can't continue forever. We are significantly overbought, and uh, we can see these technical indicators are showing signs of weakness. So a red candlestick underneath the, this uh, can candlestick here is a sign that this is going to go lower. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.